Hello, it's Friday, March 20th, and must be time for another legislative update from your North Carolina Medical Society. Uh, we're in the middle of the pandemic. Shocker, I know. Uh, but we really wanted to make sure that we first and foremost thanked you because the f people watching this video are most likely our physician and PA members as well as other healthcare providers in the community. And your dedication and your sacrifice during this very stressful time is not going unnoticed. And we just really appreciate everything you're doing to care for everyone else. During this time, your medical society has been focused on a couple of key activities. First and foremost is listening to you, hearing what's going on in the local community. What are your needs? What are the things that are happening that you need addressed immediately so that you can keep a continuity of care going during this crisis? The second thing we've been doing is translating those needs in a couple of different ways. The first thing we've been doing is placing on your morning rounds and on the website the most urgent, the most timely information so that you didn't have to go digging for it in a thousand other places. The second thing is we've been communicating your needs back to the appropriate authorities, whether it's the Department of Health and Human Services, the federal government, the state government, in order to make sure that your voice is being amplified so that you're getting the resources that you need to continue caring for patients. And the third thing that we're doing is collecting all those uh, flaws, all those things that have occurred that we only learn when we're in an emergency situation like this. And collecting those in a way that we can come after uh, this crisis is over and figure out ways to fix them so they don't happen during the next disaster. And that's really going to be an important learning opportunity for us. So keep your information coming to us, keep calling us, keep emailing us. Uh, your board of directors and your board of trustees are meeting Friday and Saturday this week uh, to make sure that they are up to date on how we're responding uh, to this as well as all the other things that we're trying to get ready for in the upcoming legislative sessions. Uh, speaking of legislative sessions, we've been handling two different fronts in response to COVID-19. The first is the federal level and then of course getting ready for the state action coming up. At the federal level, we've been working really closely with the AMA and our partners at PAI to make sure that we are getting uh, various uh, needed provisions in the stimulus bills that are being discussed at the federal government. Two have already been passed, and one now is being discussed in the U.S. Senate. That one is going to be the largest and most comprehensive of all the stimulus packages. These stimulus packages are the way that relief is coming out to businesses, to states, to communities, and to individuals uh, throughout this time of crisis. The second thing that we've been doing is taking all of those actions down, analyzing those along with the governor's uh, executive orders and other things that are going on at the state and figuring out what we need to do at the state level when the legislature comes back into session at the end of April. So we're already preparing and talking to legislators on a daily basis to make sure that they are hearing about your concerns, whether it's how to keep your employees paid, how to keep your doors open, whether it's protective equipment that you need, whether it's supply chain issues or demand issues, uh, whatever it is that we feel like we might need to be able to address in some kind of authority, some kind of funding, some kind of new uh, uh, general statute in order to make uh, allowances for you to be able to take care of things better in the future. So there's a lot going on behind the scenes. We know that you are working very hard back home, and what we're trying to do is match your effort here to make sure that your voice is being heard when you are busy taking care of other people. The final thing I want to end on today is the fact that we know that this time is incredibly stressful, uh, anxiety-ridden, and fearful for you and your families. And so while we encourage you to look to your own employee assistance programs, we also are looking to build wellness programs for you and your families in the coming days to help address those anxieties and make sure that we all get through this in a really healthy fashion. So look to us for those resources in the coming days, and I hope you stay well, take care of everyone around you, and we look forward to bringing you another update next week.